Cold and freezing outside, but inside the William H. Pitt Center, it's the Sacred Heart Pioneers against the Bryant Bulldogs. Tip off goes to the Bulldogs. Handled out in the front court, being guarded by Norman. Nearly stolen. Pass back out. Towards the top of the key. Picked. And it's going the other way. Bland with the steal. It's Norman Taylor with the good play. defense. Callan Taylor now the, with the ball. Setting up the play. Brian bringing the double team defense. Norman down low for a Bland. Stumbles back out to Taylor. Brian applying pressure defense early. Norman out to Taylor for a three. No good. Rebound. Campbell off. Stolen by Bryant. Whittingham towards the other end. Pass out. Danielle Douglas now. The two. No good. By Methodist Soher. Nice steal coming from behind. For three. Good. Katie Whittingham, the junior that, from Twinsburg. That comes from the five foot four guard. And there's a jumper, no good. By Gabrielle Washington. The freshman out of Mesa, Arizona. Stahur to, to inbound. Brian driving up court. Pioneers are playing the press defense. Finally get it passed. Three nothing Bryant just underway here at the pit center. In the corner she loses the ball. That's Danielle Douglas trapped by Callan Taylor. Kick out. No, that's seconds. gonna be a violation. The, the fumble in the corner cost that one. Good defense by the Pioneers early. Norman to ring the ball up court. The Pioneers are the number one defense in the NEC. Washington for three. Off the board. And it hits out of bounds. Bryant ball. Bryant near the top and rebounds. Down low, pick and roll. It is picked off by Erica Norman. She's steaming the other way on a fast break. Right through the defense, loses the ball. It kicks off a Bryant defender, and the Pioneers maintain possession. Mary Burke wasn't too happy about that one. She's out of control, coast to coast. Callan Taylor with control. Kick out. Norman setting up a play. Taylor gets the ball stolen and on a fast break as Danielle Douglas puts it up. No good, rebound Taylor. Couldn't finish, but what a steal. She just took it all out of her hands. Taylor with the ball out to Norman. Bland down low. Kick out to Washington. Taylor with a jumper. No good. Stolen oh, by Stahura. There's a foul. I know it's early, but we're seeing very aggressive defense on both sides. Angeli Bland, 54 from 60 from the free throw line this year so far. Sorry, 58.6% total. Bland makes the first one. Pioneers on the board. Playing the sophomore out of Quinn Creek, Arizona. And banks them both. Three, two Bulldogs. Merriman in for the Pioneers. Press defense. Douglas upheld. In the corner, gets the ball stolen. That was Merriman, it just came in for Bland. Welcome to the show. Washington with the ball. 
Hawks looking to set up a play. They gave her a look. She passed it up. Down low. Back out to Norman. Cross the corner. Taylor's got the ball and it's stolen again. Douglas has it. She can't get control. Throws it away. Out of bounds. No, I don't know, Ben. Is this, is this uh, sloppiness or, or aggressiveness? Seems a little bit of both. <laughs> Seems like that pressure, that Pioneer defense is being so aggressive that the Bulldogs can't ma maintain that control. Kick out Norman. Pioneer setting up a play. Washington for three. Good! That's the same open look she just passed up on the possession before. She nailed that one. Washington from downtown, averaging 10.8 a game. Double team, nearly taken away. Douglas down low. Kick out. Double team, nearly thrown away. Saved by Cardamon. Now Whittingham. In the corner for Douglas. Puts up the jumper, good! Now Whittingham dribble drove, kicked it out, and they eventually got the three, which is impressive. I mean, she's five foot four. She gets enveloped in the paint. Norman looking to set up the play. Taylor, the jumper, no good. Rebound Merriman, no good. Rebound Douglas. It's going the other way. Soper, down low, puts it up. No good, hits the board. Rebound by Erica Norman, it's going the other way. Tied at five, 15 left to go in the half. Campbell, back to Washington, another three, no good. She Rebound winning here. The other side. There's the fast break, down low, no good. Rebound Douglas. Taylor with the tip out, Norman on the one on two. One on one, down low, Norman puts it up, no good. Rebound Stahura. Putting in. In the corner for Douglas. Puts it up. Air ball. Going the other way. That's offensive foul. Did you hear the thought on that? Can Campbell drew a foul, man. She went down hard. Timeout on the floor. Swanson not happy with the way the Pioneers played so far. Dan, it's tied at five. We've seen very aggressive play. Sloppy at times. And stop such a low-scoring game six minutes in. Well, uh, obviously it's, it's the sloppiness mixed in with the aggressiveness, but also Callan Taylor, who averages 17 points a game, is ice cold. I mean, she's not getting in and out. She's missing everything. So I think once you get her going, this powerful Sacred Heart offense might start might start to gel. Do you think it's more of a defensive battle than an offensive lapse? That's a good question. I'm gonna go with defense. But uh I mean even down on our end here, Bryant is has missed a lot of layups. They missed like four layups already. I mean that's you can play good defense, but that's inexcusable. One thing that seemed to work well for the Pioneers throughout the season is that press defense, that full court press. You have a higher pressure, and that's where a lot of those steals come from. Yeah. Gamble, 15 steals on the season. Callan Taylor to inbound for the Pioneers on their side of the court. Erica Norman. Well, they got they got three uh, sets of fresh legs out there, so maybe maybe they could really go at them with this press and, and suffocate the Bulldogs. Norman slowly brings it up. Steph Cardamone now on the floor. Norman up top of key, setting up the play. After Norman for three, no good rebound by Genequa. Now Norman gets the ball, puts it up, and gets it to go. Good board, good look. Here's that full court press. Down low. Douglas loses the ball. Nearly throws it away. Whittington struggling to get the ball past court. Stolen. Down low. No good. Off the board. But oh, it gets oh. it to go. How about the lucky bounce? The laws of physics. Blair Konosuski hit off the board and got it to go. 
Ne ball nearly stolen again there. Pioneer defense stepping up. They lead 10-5. Bulldogs looking to slow it down. Schistler down low to Douglas. That's Nana Koma Menza. And that's a foul. She'll be going to the line. Averaging 11.8 a game. Free throw, she's 78% from the line this year. And Douglas misses the first, it's an air ball. Pioneer Faithful letting her hear it. Pioneers lead 10-5, she makes the second one. Brent is dead last in the NEC in uh, free throw percentage at 64%. At the top of the key, out in the corner, Callan Taylor, no good. Rebound by Cardamon. Whittington bringing it up court. Out in the corner, her Schistler brings it to the rim. Out. It's uh, going the other way, offensive foul. I thought she stepped on the line twice. They called it for the second one, but I think she uh, stepped on it when she initially got the ball. Bulldogs struggling, keep control. Katie Shepard brings it up court. Now out in the corner. No good, that's Kylie Evans, Callan Taylor. Back out to Katie Shepard. Pass, corner, Merriman, three! That's Blair Kuniziski. Well, if you double team Taylor, somebody's going to be open. Double team. She gets away, drives to the basket, and a foul. There were three white jerseys on her, and she just she she took it. She hit the paint. She got a she got the hoop and won. That was impressive. Marina Silver to go to the line. Timeout, Brian. Dan, you've seen Blair Kanasuski shoot two way beyond deep shots, and she's made them both. Yeah, I mean, she's shooting from the red line, not, not the white line. And uh, both of them have been in the corner, which are even longer. But, uh, hey, if you're going to focus on other players, like stars, like Callan Taylor, the rest, the rest of the team has to pick up the slack. If she, uh, she's got the touch tonight. I, I, if I was Mary Burke and the Bulldogs, I'd be watching her from now on. Exactly right, you gotta watch out for those role players. Definitely a weapon to have from beyond the arc. Absolutely. Now sober to the charity stripe shooting two. Now the contrast in this game is uh, Sacred Heart is 20th in the nation. In free throw percentage. And, sorry, shooting one, she misses it. And rebound by the Pioneers, headed up court. With both full steam, Lou loses control, maintains. 4 3, bang! There she is again! Again! Sweet Blair for three. That full court press applying. Pioneers lead 16 8. Nearly taken away. I, th I think this pressure is getting a little much for Brian. Whittington with the ball. Kick out. 4 3. No good. Way short. Pioneers take over. Shepard up court. In the corner. Evans. Looking to set something up. Down to Bland. And down low. Kick out. 4 3. The there she is again. again. No. Rebound, oh, good! Kylie Evans! Timeout, Bryant! Oh, that, that was a backbreaker, man. It's almost, Blair almost made four in a row. That, yeah, that almost went in. Hey, she was open again in the corner. And one thing. You gotta do something about that. <laughs> one thing the Pioneers are starting to do well now is rebound. Yeah. Yeah, it's. Uh, they're just totally out, out muscling Bryant on, on the rebound, on the uh, on the boards. I mean, at first we didn't see a lot of shots, a lot of turnovers. 
And now as we see some shots going up, Sacred Heart is starting to show its, um, its muscle. Pioneers keep increasing the lead. It's 18-8, 11-28 left to go in the half. And Bryant has called yet another timeout trying to stop the bleeding where it is. Yeah, that, that's a well-needed timeout. <laughs> Burke obviously concerned with the way the Bulldogs are playing. It'll be Meredith Soper, the junior from Winthrop, Mass, putting it out. Cardamon to take it off court. Giga, that press defense working good. Almost on the triple team there in the corner. 4-3, no good. Rebound. Gets her own rebound on the air ball. Whittington out. 4-3, no good, off the board. Bland, struggling, fighting. Loose ball. <coughs> it's gonna go to Sacred Heart, I'll tell you what. Whittington got the ball at the top of the key, and she just threw a shot at It was a terrible shot. It's, I mean, you got to start chipping away. You got to start coming back. You, you can't put up shots like that. You're right. 18-8 in the first half. Bulldogs throwing them a prayer like it's two minutes left. And so far, it seems like the Pioneer defense has step, set the pace, set the tempo from the start. Absolutely. They are. I mean, as soon as Bryant gets the ball over the half court line, it's it's kind of like a half court, three quarter press right now. I mean, they're just all over, them, all over. Them. And uh, Brian has no idea, has no idea what to do. I mean, they're trying to penetrate, kick out. It's worked a few times. They missed they missed that shot in the corner on that last possession. But uh, 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 Burke Burke and the Bulldogs got to figure something out because they'll get run right out of this gym. Does Swanson stick with that press defense that's working so well? I would now, yeah, uh, to, get the, to get the lead. I mean, as you get more fatigue, maybe maybe you could back off a little and, and try to hold them. But right now, in the beginning of the game, I'd maul them, man. Taylor to inbound for the Pioneers. Norman's going to bring it up court. Callan Taylor. Thought about it. Good defense. They're stopping Callan Taylor. By a Camo Mesa. And there's a whistle. Loose ball foul. It's going to be away from the ball under the basket. Uh, on Soper, she got a she got a hold of Taylor. Norman there threw it in. Box. Callan Taylor with the ball. Norman at the top of the key looking to set things up. Anjali Bland in the corner. Taylor down low. Bland loses the ball. Whittington up court on the fast break. Slows it down. She's setting the tempo for Bryant. Got him on. Back to Whittington. Down low. Picked off. That's a terrible pass. Kylie Evans helped with the turnover. And Norman with just a low pass. Not a very good pass. I mean, she started off good, but Whittington is starting. She's starting to play uh, uh, not too smart. <laughs> Pioneers have four. In the backcourt. Nearly lost the ball there. Hink brought it up. Now Whittington has it. That's a travel. She didn't know what she was going to do. She wanted. She looked at the basket. She looked behind her. She had, a, she had an open teammate. She didn't know what to do. Men's. Uh, Norman brings the ball up court. Four. There's the jumper. In and out. Rebound, Bryant. 
No press that time. Whittington. Hink in the corner. Bland with great defense. Callan Taylor defending down low. Menza puts it up and the foul. Callan Taylor with her second foul. Callan Taylor, two fouls, no points. And Menza misses the first. She's gone. Taking a breather. Merriman in the game. And the second one, no good, off the board. And Dana brings and then, back to your point about how terrible the Bryant the Bulldogs are from the line. I mean, this this is a it's not funny anymore. It's just sad right now. Norman up court. Merriman's got control. Norman setting the tempo, averaging eight points a game. She walked. There's the shot, no good. In and out. Fight for the ball. It's a jump ball. And this one's going to go the other way. That'll be Brittany Sahura on the inbound. Pioneers pressing again. They got four on the backcourt looking to apply. Whittington almost loses the ball, almost stripped by Washington. And gets the jumper to fall. Norman brings it up court. 18 10 Pioneers, 8.40 left to go for three. No good off the board. Menza with a rebound for Bryant. That's bad shot selection. Pushing the tempo, Whittington. Down low, Menza loses the ball, keeps control, puts it up, gets it to go. Well, there's four unanswered by the Bulldogs to chip away, They're down by uh, two possessions. Washington with the ball. Merriman looking for a shot. Evans. That's a travel. Poor execution there. It looked like slow motion, too. And another timeout on the floor. 18-12, five years. Just under eight to go. Ryan keeping it interesting, despite the way they've been playing so far. They're really close. Yeah, I mean, after uh, they called the timeout, and then about, I don't know, 30, 40 seconds later, it was the media timeout, and they came out of that for the last three minutes, and, and uh, they've only scored four points, but they, they've held Sacred Heart scoreless. So they're chipping away. It's, it's a, a lot of time left, eight minutes, and, uh, you know, they, got, they were down by 10 at the most, so I think... The, the best you could hope for is just uh, to be close come halftime and, and maybe even have the lead. Three total team fouls for both teams, and at least as of right now, Pioneers are looking better at the line. Oh, yeah. Sacred Heart is ranked number 20 in the country for uh, free throw percentage. And uh, Bryant is last in the NEC in... To say that we've seen why is an understatement. I mean, they've looked terrible at the line. With plenty of time left, Ed Swanson stressing it there about the defense. Whittington brings it up court. That's that press again. And turned over. Picked up. Brian takes it back. Whittington up court on the double team. Whittington looking to set up a play against the Menza. Now driving towards the hole is Cardamon. And a foul. She did a good job, uh, good job driving and then drawing that foul. Cardamon, sophomore guard. She's gonna be the first on Bland. And it goes in and out. And guess what? Another miss from the line. You know, they call them free throws for a reason, man. Pressure at the charity stripe. She looks to even things up. And she makes it one for two. 
And Norman will bring it up court for the Pioneers. Takes control, Merriman. That's Blair, 4-3, in and out. Menza stepped out of bounds. Pioneers will get the ball back. Merriman to throw it in, box. That's Bland. Norman taking control. And Blair Konosinski with the overhead pass of Bland and the Bulldogs take over. Four in the backcourt. And pressure. Just know what to do with the ball. Whittington calling out the plays. And cut him on. Back out, almost picked. Whittington, a long three, in and out. Loose ball. Menza puts it up, gets it to go. Oh, what a move. What a move. Men's averaging 11.8 a game. Bland with the ball down low for the Pioneers. Merriman. Can't find a shot. Back out to Norman. Sacred Top of the key. Sacred Heart hasn't scored a basket in over five minutes now. Merriman driving towards the lane. Puts it up in and out. Rebound Bryant. Whittington brings it up court. Thought about it. In the corner. For three, bang! We're tied. Timeout. That's Kenny Shepard, and the game is tied. And Swanson calls the 30. And Swanson seeing the defense collapse on the front court. Yeah, the defense has collapsed. The offense has totally stopped making baskets. I mean, they're getting shots, and they haven't scored since the 11-29 mark uh, in this half. They once had a 10-point lead. They've seen the lead disappear. Defense has struggled. The poor selection of shots on the offense. A absolutely. You gotta give it to Bryant too. They're starting to hit their shots and they're starting to figure out this uh, Sacred Heart defensive pressure. Trying to get hot at the right time. Norman trying to slow the tempo. Norman averaging 5.4 a game. The three, in and out. Rebound, Brian Whittington brings it up court. In the corner. Nearly loses it. Merriman's got it. Falls out of bounds. Pioneers keep possession. They'll take it out from half court. Washington back in the game. Merriman to throw it in. Norman's got the ball. Tied at 18. Five and a half left to go. Merriman struggles with it. Pick and roll. Gabrielle Washington. Blair. Throw a three in and out. Blair with the rebound. Puts it up. Gets it to go. Angelie Blair. That was pure power under the basket there. On the double team, Whittington gets it back. The jumper is no good. In and out. Merriman's got the ball. Pioneers with the boat of steam. Down Angelie Bland. Puts it up. Off the board. Rebound. Brian Whittington. Pass spray. Push to tempo. In the corner. And there's the jumper. It's good. Brittany Stahura. And we're tied again. And there's a turnover. Foul. Seems like the Pioneers are starting to get a little sloppy, Dan. Yeah, I mean, they, uh, they're they going to get the media timeout here in about uh, 24 seconds. And uh, they got to figure some things out there before uh, Bryant 
gains a big half halftime lead. And that one is tipped out. Merriman tried to save it, tips it out of bounds. Brian Ball. Whittington top of the key. Cardamon down low for Stahura. And the foul. Pick your poison by who you put at the line for Brian. <laughs> Pioneers definitely being aggressive on the defensive paint. Land at the line, shooting two. And makes the first. It's probably a first. <laughs> they're, about, they're about two for seven now. And makes them both. Pioneers Actually, six four fouls. for nine. I'm sorry, I forgot those two. Pioneers getting into foul trouble. Four minutes left to go. Bland's got the ball. Kick out Washington for a three. Off the rim. Before they shoot for the perimeter shots, they're looking for Bland underneath. Sahura. Tipped away. Now Winnington's got it. Controlling the tempo. Setting up the play for Bryant. Nice pass. Sahura, the jumper. Good! She's getting hot from the line. And so are the Brian Bulldogs. 24-20, Bryant. Their largest lead of the day. Norman setting up the play. Look at the pick and roll. Gets it, puts it up, and the foul! Norman what, gets it to go! What a huge play, they had no idea what they were running, they had no idea what they were doing, and she just pulled it back up, she hit the paint, and she she made the layup and got hammered. And there's a media timeout on the floor. Brian leads 24-22, Norman going to the line. She is 80.6% from the line. Well, that's, that's good. I mean, Sacred Heart can hit it from the line. And if it, it, uh, Brian's going to keep putting them there, they're going to be in trouble. Swanson trying to get the Pioneer offense back under control. This rivalry dates back to February of 1981. 14 meetings, seven and seven. Pioneers hold a five and three record over the last eight. The Bryan Bulldogs have not won a game against the Pioneers since 2008. They lost their last outing against Long Island. They're six and six in the conference, which is right around the middle of the pack. Of course, Sacred Heart is uh, first in the conference, one game up on Quinnipiac. And uh, they only have one loss at home. Sacred Heart, 17 and six overall, 10 and two inside the conference. They are first. Losses to Quinnipiac and Mammoth the other day. The Bryan Bulldogs, 13 and 10, six and six in the conference. They are number six in the NEC, looking to make improvements. Pioneers looking to expand their lead inside the conference. Norman at the line, shooting one. And she banks it. 24-23, and look at the hands of Chris Iovino. They finally get it in. Blair falls to the floor. Looking for the offensive charge, doesn't get it. And there's Menza. Menza puts it up, and the foul. One thing you notice from Menza, she's very aggressive in the paint. Yeah, she loves getting the ball down low and attacking the basket. And uh, she's drawing fouls, and she's hitting a few baskets too. Seventeen fouls to the Pioneers. Menza banks the first. Hey, they're heating up. They're 50%. <laughs> Still not something to brag about, though. No, not at all. 
25-23, Menza. An orthodox shot there. She and comes misses. over the top like a pitcher. Bland with the rebound. Washington takes control. Norman in the corner for Blair. Down low to Iavino. Norman for three, in and out. Iavino with the rebound. Norman is cold from three. Looking to take control. Just about two left in the half. And whistle. Dead ball. And a foul. Courtney Schisler with a foul from Bryant. Norman inbound for the Pioneers. He set up the box offense. Box and press. Kick out way. That's a really shaky pass. Blair Kudaszewski for three. And it's an air ball that goes out of bounds. That was from Brian way takes out. Over. She's feeling pretty confident, though. Uh, well, maybe not so much after that shot. Early on, Blair Kudaszewski makes three in a row. She's missed the last couple three-pointers. Yeah, I mean, uh, she's getting good looks. I and mean, that, that was a good look, but it was it was pretty far away. Now Menza. Kick out in the corner. Schistler puts it up. The foul. Yeah. Pioneers in foul trouble. Bryant just started uh, getting a ball in the paint and attacking the basket. And they're, they're getting fouls. And, and lately they've been hitting the foul shots. They're 5 for 11 so far. Eight fouls for the Pioneers. Schistler. Makes the first. Courtney Schisler, sophomore from Branford, Connecticut. And there's a substitution, Merriman for Iovino. 26-23, the Bulldogs lead. Schisler. And she banks the second. Bulldogs expand the lead to four. Norman setting the tempo, putting up a play for the Pioneers offense. Down low to Merriman. What a pass! Merriman gets it to go on the land. Schistler went for the steal. She came up empty. Now Schistler in the corner. Down low. Oh, what a play! Rebound. Again, that was a terrible shot, but she was just attacking the basket, looking for contact. Douglas with the rebound now out in the corner to Schisler. Whittington. Control. That's Menza. Whittington double teamed. Schisler for three. God. Whoops. Courtney Schisler. Bulldogs lead by five. Old. Biggest lead of the half. Under a minute left to go. Courtney Schisler getting hot. And there's wow. a travel by Merriman. She was looking left, she went right, there was a body there, and she ran into it and traveled. Bryant definitely has the momentum here. Pioneer's trying to take something before they head to the half. I mean, yeah, the Pioneer offense is so potent that, you know, five points could be nothing, but you do, you do want to limit the damage here going into the locker room. Bulldogs taking the clock. That's Menza. In the corner for Whittington. For three. God! What a huge shot. I don't shot. believe it. Back to back threes for the Bulldogs. They lead by eight. And it was once a large lead for the Pioneers. Has completely turned around. What a huge shot. Bulldogs getting the luck from downtown. Norman will hold the ball for the last shot. And she's going to go. Yeah, she's From downtown. Oh. Wow. Hold your thoughts one more yeah, second. See that one every day. Norman going to the lawn as time expires. Three shots she's going to get. It appears she was beyond the stripe. Officials discussing it now. Barry Burke not happy over there with Bryant. I think they want... 
they want two shots. But the ref called it. He he signaled three to the score. And you can't argue to foul like this. I think, I think the foul is definitely in agreement. There's just how many shots. The officials going over that once again. He's going to um, confer. Norman 50 for 62 on the season from the line. Personally, I, I, I thought she was inside uh, inside the line, or at least had her foot on it. But what do I know? It's a long discussion here. If he isn't going back over to the Bryant bench, they're explaining to them what's that, what exactly is going on. It's good. Looks like it's going to be three. No. Yeah, three shots. He no put up uh, two fingers for number 11. I thought he meant one on one. Norman the line shooting three. The last three shots of the half. Norman makes the first. Norman, six points so far this game. And Norman banks the second. Norman definitely showing her effectiveness from the line. One more from the charity straight before the half. And Norman banks all three. There you go. And we head into the half. The Bryan Bulldogs 33, Sigurd Honor Pioneers 28. Dan, what a turn of events. Yeah, I mean, early, it was sloppy, a lot of turnovers. But it favored Sacred Heart because of their suffocating defense and their, uh, you know, their potent offense. But they they got a timeout, and then 30 seconds later, Bryant did. The the media timeout came, and from then on, it's been all Bulldogs. What, what I thought was interesting started a ten, it was an 18 to 8 lead at one point. The Pioneers seemed to be working well in defense. The tempo was being pushed the right way. They had the momentum. All of a sudden, with all those timeouts that were called, it seemed like they lost their focus. Yeah, I, I don't know. It, it had. It was definitely a loss of focus. Maybe fatigue from the from the press the whole game. But they stopped hitting shots. They started uh, fouling down low. I mean, Bryant is doing a great job of getting the ball in the paint, driving to the basket, and if they're not hitting the hoop, at least they're drawing the foul. Even Bryant's starting to show more effectiveness from the free throw line. You saw ineffectiveness early. Yeah, I mean, they, they're about 33% on the season. No, not 33. But it's also interesting is that three-point shooting affair. I was way off. But, but they started off terrible. The last in the NEC. But then they really, when, when they started taking the ball in the hoop and they started getting fouled consistently, they really picked it up. They're seven for 13. I mean, we, we would have never guessed that. We're going to head into the half, a halftime break. We'll see you in the second half.